Hi everyone. I'm going to speak about a topic I didn't think I was going to speak about anymore, dumpling. And it's because something just happened. And if you follow me, I decided not to use the dumpling app anymore. I wish them well, but most 99% of my business was Trader Joe's. I shopped at a shop right once. It takes years to get a business off the ground. And I decided that I'm going to go down a different route and work on my online business. Anyway, somebody reached out and connected to my business today. But I think tomorrow it expires. I took out my payment card that Dumpling can't charge me anymore to use the platform for $29 a month because I decided not to move forward with it. Now, I'm going to show you the text. And before I do that, I don't want to forget. There's another reason why I don't want to use Dumpling anymore, and it's because I don't share everything online. People think I share a lot online. In the beginning, I did because I was trying to figure it out, but then I come to realize there are a lot of warped people out there, and people that I personally know, that I know, were screwing with me. I lost respect. People following me. I'm not as dumb as I look, but I don't live in fear, and... I also feel that if I wasted time on all that nonsense, I would never move forward with anything else. I would stay the same, and I'm not staying the same. That's a fact. So, what I won't miss about Dumpling is that my phone number is out in the open. I plan on, my mother and I, we're going to do it together. We're going to upgrade our phones eventually. And when I do, I'm getting a new number. Because my number has been splatted out there, and people did... And some people connected, and I understood what they meant. They were kind of nasty. And people just, you, your number's out there. And I feel if I took the time to get a new number, um, fix everything on my online world and my app world, it's going to be a little bit of work, but it'll be worth it to protect my phone number from now on. So that's something I learned with Dumpling that I really, I feel it's a smart move. And I'm, I, that's, that's another reason why I don't want to use Dumpling anymore. I don't want my phone number out there. A lot of people, a lot of people that I, I don't associate with anymore should even be in contact with me anymore. That's a chapter of my life that's been over for a very long time. And I was shocked to learn that they were even alive, to be honest with you. So that's another thing. There's so many other reasons with the open phone number. I mean, someone just reached out and... I'm going to show you the conversation. She kept, or he, I'm not sure. Um, they write back. They connected to my business, so I write back. I, I'm no longer providing a shopping service through the Dumpling app. 99% of my clients had me shop at Trader Joe's stores. Trader Joe's will not accept the Dumpling payment credit card anymore. I felt this person should know, and I believe my account, like it, they won't be able to charge my account tomorrow or the next day. So they write, oh no, I downloaded the app. I downloaded for Trader Joe's. As you can see right there, that's what the person says. So then they, they, they write that and I write, I'm sorry. I enjoyed shopping for clients at Trader Joe's a lot. However, app shoppers must respect Trader Joe's decision. You don't tell a business how to run their business. They don't want app shoppers in their stores, period. Just get on with your life, you know? This person didn't know this, this innocent person, but then I'm going to share something in a moment. I write this back. Oh, I, I took two. Then they write, wow, when did this decision, when was this decision made? And then I write, because Dumpling must inform shoppers about situations like this. They have to. They have training calls and stuff, and they help people build their businesses. Trader Joe's, well, because they want their business model to succeed, Trader Joe's took legal action against Dumpling. About a month ago, Dumpling sent out not notifications to shoppers using the Dumpling app that Trader Joe's will not accept the Dumpling payment credit card anymore. And they have every right to decline that if they want to. It's their business. Once I understood that, I decided not to pay to use the Dumpling app because I want this person to know I actually pay to use the Dumpling app. But if I lost 99% of my business, well, it's time to make a decision and do something else. Oh, that's it. Okay. So, oh, 
lost track. I lost track. I should have said that. I don't want to enter people's stores because the few stores that are around here, they already know who I am. Every single one of them. You make relationships with staff members. They want to know why you're here all the time shopping. They watch your shopping. They watch you in, like, in the process of shopping. They see you looking at the phone. They could tell that you're shopping for someone else. I'm not going to lie to managers. I'm not going to lie to staff. <laughs> they don't want you in the store. That's just the way it is. So the phone number, the, oh, there was a great point I was going to make. However, lesson learned. Some things work out, like my online business. It's really working out. The apps, to me, jumping on delivered, work, it worked out. Thank you, Michelle. You know who you are. I'm going to see you in the field again. She is a delivered delivery person that I bump into once in a while. I know I shut off my comments on my YouTube videos, but that's another story. Just It got so bizarre that I don't know who I'm dealing with on the other end. Constantly reaching out when I turned off stuff and trying to find other ways to, I believe, antagonize me. If I sense someone don't want to be bothered, I don't bother them. But I'm not a, I'm not a miserable moron. I, I just don't know what else to say to that. I sense people don't want to be bothered. I leave them alone. I don't force them to give me attention. <laughs> it's just it got so out of hand that it started taking the fun out of stuff. Now I'm having fun again. And I'm showing people how I'm creating a very successful online business. I have right now Uber Eats, Grubhub. I've been doing Grubhub. <laughs> um, delivered. And I'm going to start working Instacart again. You know, I'll, I'll switch it up to break up the boredom of food delivery. Until something else comes up. I'm not sure what's going to happen in the near future. But I'm keeping an eye out. And I'm watching stores expand. And I'm doing my research. And you never know. There are stores that... They want to hire in-store shoppers and they don't um, mock up their product prices and you don't have to work for a huge store and kill yourself. And uh, that's something on the back burner that I just doing my research and getting all my ducks in a row for a brighter future. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I can't believe it's going to be two o'clock. It's Sunday. I've been at it since seven and it's time to get out of my apartment. And like I said, I'm probably going to start working Instacart and I'm going to join the other apps too after I get a new phone number. I just, having that phone number open some weird things happened, and I, I don't want my phone number to be out in the open like that. It's not my cup of tea. Oh, I think I, I shut down my account. I took out my payment card. That could be a um, practice, too, and, and because this is the way the world is, and people go, oh, I would never do that. Yeah, right, 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 you wouldn't. Um, that could be them trying to feel me out. Why isn't she paying for the app anymore? You know, not just me. I could have been anyone else. Why is this person not using our app anymore? Let's connect someone to the business and see what happens. It could be that. I've thought that. You know, one of the last days that my card's going to be charged and all of a sudden I got a lead. Well, I've gotten dozens, dozens. I have over 60 leads. Not, it's so many leads with so little business. I had to regroup. Just the way it is. I'll see you next time. <laughs> good luck. Until the next video. Have a good one. Bye, everybody.